Good morning. Welcome morning. Prayer with Resurrection Lutheran Corporate Ministry on this Thursday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join me. Uh, so, uh, so let us begin with the word of the Lord. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is uh, there's Psalm 68. I think I might have read the wrong psalm yesterday. Mm. Psalm 68. Let God arise, and let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. Let them vanish like smoke when their wind drives it away. As the wax melts at the fire, so let the wicked perish as the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. Let them also be merry and joyful. Sing to God, sing praises to his name. Exalt him who rides upon the heavens. Yahweh is his name, rejoice before him. Father of orphans, defender of widows, God is the holy habitation. God gives the solitary a, a, a home and brings forth prisoners into freedom, but the rebels shall live in a dry places. O oh God, when you went forth before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook and the skies poured down rain at the presence of God, the God of Sinai, at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You sent a gracious uh, gracious rain, O oh God, your, your, upon your inheritance. You refreshed the land when it was weary, your people found their home in it. In your goodness, O God, you have made provisions for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of women who bore the tidings. Kings with their armies are fleeing away. The women at home are dividing the spoils. Though you lingered among the sheepfolds, you shall be like a dove whose wings are covered with silver, whose feathers are like green, uh, green gold. When the <clears throat> mighty scattered kings, it was like snow falling in Zalom. O mighty mountains, O hill of Basham, O rugged hills, O hill of Basham, why do you look with envy, O rugged mountain, at the hill which God chose as his resting place? Truly the Lord will dwell there forever. The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even th thousands of thousands. The Lord comes in holiness from Sinai. You have gone up on high and led captivity captive. You have received gifts even from your enemies, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Blessed be the Lord day by day, the God of our salvation, who bears our burdens. He is our God, the God of our salvation. God is the Lord by whom we escape death. God shall crush the heads of his enemies and the, and the hairy scalp of those who go on still in their wickedness. The Lord has said, I will bring them back from Basham. I will bring them back from the depths of the sea, that your foot may be dipped in blood the tongues of your dogs, and the blood of your enemies. They see your uh, procession, O God, your procession into the sanctuary, my God and my King. The singers go before, musicians follow after, in the midst of the maidens, playing upon the hand drums. Bless God in the congregation. Bless the Lord, you that are in the fountain of Israel. There is Benjamin, lest, uh, least in the tribe, at the head, the princes of Judah in the company, and the princes of Zebulun and Naphtali. Send forth your strength, O God. Establish, O God, what you have wrought for us. Kings shall bring gifts to you for your temple's sake at Jerusalem. Rebuke the wild beasts of the reeds and the peoples, a herd of the wild bulls with its calves. Trample down uh, those who lust after silver. Scatter the people that delight in war. Let tribute be brought out of Egypt. Let Ethiopia stretch out his hands to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing praises to the Lord. He rides in the heavens, the ancient heavens. He sends forth the voice of his mighty voice. Ascribe power to God. His mighty is over Israel. 
His strength is in the skies. How wonderful is God in this holy place, places, the God of Israel, giving strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Some of those words, just as I was watching the news, how they just, you know, thoughts just come to my mind as I'm watching what's going on in Afghanistan. Need to pray for them. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, King of the universe, you have given us great, a joy in your holy meal. Help us to understand the significance of your death and to acknowledge you as the conqueror of death, seated at the right hand of the Father, where you live and reign with him in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Our reading continues in Second Samuel in the 11th chapter, beginning with verse 1. In the spring of the year, the time when kings go forth to battle, David sent Joab and his servants with him and all Israel, and they ravaged the Amorites and besieged Rabath. But David remained in Jerusalem. It happened late one afternoon when David arose from his couch and was walking about the roof of the king's house, that he saw from the roof a woman bathing, and the woman was very beautiful. And David sent and inquired about the woman, and one said, uh, is not that Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite? So David sent messengers and took her, and she came to him, and he lay with her. Now she was purifying herself from her clean uncleanliness. Then she returned to the house, and the woman conceived, and she sent and told David, I am with child. So David sent word to Joab, send me Uriah the Hittite. And Joab sent Uriah to David. Then Uriah came to him. David asked how Joab was doing and how the people fared and how the war pro pro prospered. Then David said to Uriah, Go down to your house and wash your feet. And Uriah went out of the king's house, and there followed him a, a present from the king. But Uriah slept at the door of the king's house and all the servants of his lord and did not go down to his house. When they told David Uriah did not go down to the house, David sent to Uriah, have you not come from a journey? Why did you not go down to your house? Uriah said to David, The ark of the Israel and Judah dwell in Booth, and my lord Joab and the servants of my lord are carrying, are camping in the open field. Shall I then go to my house and eat and to, and to drink and to lie with my wife? As you live and as your soul lives, I will not do these things. Then David said to Uriah, Remain here today also and tomorrow. I will let you depart. So Uriah remained in Jerusalem that day and the next, and David invited him, and he ate in his presence and drank, so that he made him drunk. And in the evening he went out to lie on his couch with the servants of the Lord, and he did not go down to his house. In the morning David wrote a letter to Joab and sent to him by the hand of Uriah. In the letter he wrote, Send Uriah to the forefront of the hardest fighting, and then draw him from uh, back from him, that he may be struck down and die. And as Joab was besieging the city, he assigned Uriah in the place where he knew there was a valiant man. And the men of the city came out and fought with Joab. And some of the servants of David among the people fell. Uriah the Hittite was slain also. Then Joab sent and told David all the news about the fighting. And he instructed the messenger, When you have finished telling all the news about the fighting to the king, then if the king's anger arises and if he sa says to you, why did you not? Uh, why did you go so near the city to fight? Did you not know that they would shoot from the wall? Who killed uh, Amimelech, the son of Jerubasheah? Did not women cast uh, cast an upper millstone upon him from the wall so that they died at Thebes? Thebes, why did you go so near the wall? Then you shall say, your servant Uriah the Hittite is dead also. So the messenger went and came and told David all that Joab had sent, to, sent him to tell. The messenger said to David, The men gained an advantage over us and came out against us in the field, but we drove them back to the entrance of the gate. Then the archers shot at, our, at your servants from the wall. Some of the king's servants are dead, and your servant Uriah the Hittite is dead also. David sent to the messenger, Thus shall you say to Joab, Do not let this matter trouble you. For the word devours, uh, devours now one and now another. Strengthen your attack upon the city and overthrow it and, and encourage him. When the wife, the wife of Uriah heard that Uriah, her husband, was dead, she made lamentations for her husband. 
And when she, when the morning was over, David sent and brought her to the house. And she became his wife and bore him a son. But the thing that David had done displeased the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading comes from Acts, the 19th chapter, beginning with verse 11. And God did extraordinary miracles by the hands of Paul, so that hand, handkerchiefs or aprons were carried away from the body to the sick, and the diseases left them, and the evil spirits came out of them. Then some of the in, uh, itinerant Jewish exorcists under, undertook to pronounce the name of the Lord Jesus over those who had evil spirits, saying, I adjure you by the Jesus whom Paul preaches. Seven sons of the Jewish high priest named Siva, Siva uh, were, uh, were doing this. But the evil spirits answered them, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? And the man in whom the evil spirits was leaped on them, mastered all of them and overpowered them, so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. And this became known to all residents of Ephesus. But Jews and Greeks in, in fear fell upon all of them, and them all. And the name of the Lord Jesus was extolled. Many also of those who were, were now believers came confessing and divulging their practices. And a number of those who practiced magic arts brought their books together and burned them in the sight of all. And they counted the values of them and found it came to 50,000 pieces of silver. So the word of the Lord grew and prevailed mightily. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his pro holy promise, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O oh, come, let us worship him. Uh, let us pray. O oh, Lord and Master of my life, take from me the spirit of laziness, meddling ambition, and vain talk. But give me a spirit of prudence, humility, patience, and love. Yes, Lord and King, grant me to see my own spirits and faults and not judge my brother. For you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, I see that I am, but today, today is the day that I had the wrong um, uh, read, the psalm reading, but you know, when I read that psalm, it reminds me of so much of what's going on in our world and the hope that we have in Christ, and maybe that's exactly what I needed to read today. At least I know that's what, for me, it, it was. So, God bless you, and um, please keep the, the people, the safety of people in Afghanistan in our prayers and to sort this out. Um, my word, who would have thought this? Um, we do need to be on our knees and praying. Uh, God bless you all. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.